Hey, what's going on? My name is Matthew Hudson, and I'm excited that you've joined me in choosing to embrace kindness and love this upcoming election season with Civic Revival through the AND Campaign. Now, I personally decided to uh, partner with the AND Campaign because I've seen the work that they do in our communities. They're in our churches. Uh, they're engaging and equipping believers like you and I with all the necessary tools and strategies needed to operate in the political space, all while maintaining our biblical uh, standards. Uh, they encourage us not to shy away from these conversations, but to engage in them with, with love, respect, a lot of grace and wisdom, which is why uh, this month we're undertaking another meaningful challenge, which is to practice public courtesy and grace. Um, as Christians, we're called to love, to show kindness and to exercise self-control, but not only towards those that we agree with or that love us or the people that we love, but also to the stranger, uh, to those that oppose us uh, politically, that have different convictions and or beliefs than we do. Jesus is calling us to love the stranger well, uh, which is why I believe that Matthew 5, 46 through 48 is a very important passage because here you see Jesus really challenging the way that we think about love and the way that we engage in love, saying, hey, it's, of what benefit is it just to love those that love you? Uh, I've called you to love those um, that is a struggle to love, that is a struggle to agree with. Our love for one another uh, should not change based on our political beliefs, but we love each other because we understand our humanity. We, we love each other because all of us are made in the image of God. So as Christians, I encourage you to love well during this political season. And I believe if we can really do that, Jesus will be glorified and through partnering with the AND campaign, I really believe that we can make a real difference in our communities and beyond. Peace.